The Archer artillery system is one of the most powerful howitzers in the world. It's a jewel in Sweden's military crown and one of its most successful exports. As a result, the weapon is now helping Ukraine in their efforts to defend their land. But what makes this howitzer so powerful and how was it developed? That's what we're going to look at in this video. Before we do, just a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and also to subscribe to Spotlight for more videos just like this one. But now, back to the Archer artillery system. It was developed as a solution to create a more mobile version of the FH-77B field howitzer with a longer range of fire. First technical studies to make the FH-77B mobile were conducted in 1995. The prototype was given the name FH-77BWL-52. It was based on a Volvo A25C articulated wheeled chassis with 6x6 configuration. The Archer system as it is today was then developed for the Swedish Army after a contract was awarded to Bofors, which is now known as BAE Systems Bofors. Development of the trial artillery system began in that year and they were trialed between 2005 and 2006. In September 2006, the Swedish Defense Acquisition Agency placed a contract for detailed design work on Archer and at the start of 2007, the next development phase was authorized. A year later in September 2008, the Swedish government approved the final development and procurement of the howitzer system. Sweden and Norway ordered a total of 24 units of the Archer each. The first howitzers were delivered to the Swedish Army in 2013, but Norway pulled out of the project due to budget cuts. The Archer system includes ammunition resupply and support vehicles. The vehicle platform of the Archer proper is a modification of the Volvo A30D 6x6 articulated all-terrain hauler vehicle. The cabin of the vehicle and the engine compartment are fully armored. On top of this, the cab is fitted with bullet and fragmentation-proof windows for additional protection. The system's munition carrier consists of a removable, modified standard container mounted on a ballistic-proofed all-terrain lorry. The cost of one unit is around $4,500,000. The vehicle carries 20 150mm projectiles in the magazine itself, which is fully automatic, and an additional 20 rockets for reloading. The Archer has the capability of using NATO's modular charges or alternatively, Bofors Uniflex 2 charges. The modular charge system gives the ability for several increments of charge to be used and increases the gun system's multiple rounds simultaneous impact capability, as well as good range overlap between the increments. The Archer has a crew of four. This includes the driver, commander, and two operators. In the case of an emergency, Archer can be operated by a crew of only two men, with only a driver and one operator. The howitzer itself is operated by three or four crew seated from the vehicle cabin. This cabin is fitted with a door on each side and a circular roof hatch. The workplaces in the cab give the operators complete control over the entire system. The gun computer is able to handle ballistic computations, firing, VO measurements, security checks, ammunition handling, communication, command and fire control, navigation, operational follow-up, surveillance operation, close-in protection, and fire control. Undoubtedly, the main feature of the system is the weapon itself. This is the 155 52 caliber gun. The gun draws upon its predecessor for inspiration and uses the proven design of the FH-77B cradle and recoil system. However, it has a longer barrel for more range. It's 8.06 meters long, which is about 2 meters longer than its predecessor, which improves the rate of fire. The Archer has a rapid automatic ammunition loading system for maximum efficient firing. Maximum range of fire is 30 kilometers with an ordinary explosive projectile, and this is increased to 40 kilometers with a rocket-assisted high-explosive projectile. The Archer also fires Excalibur precision-guided projectiles, which give it an impressive maximum range of 60 kilometers. Also, it is compatible with bonus precision-guided projectiles with a range of 34 kilometers and includes two smart anti-tank submunitions. The gun has a fire control system, laying system, an inertial navigation, and a muzzle velocity radar. Data from the radar is downloaded to the onboard computerized fire control system. 
Archer has the ability to also use other remote weapon stations on the market if necessary. Maximum rate of fire is a rapid 8 to 9 rounds per minute. The Archer is capable of what is known as multiple rounds simultaneous impact firing. It can launch up to 6 shells in 30 seconds, all with different flight paths, but all of the shells arriving on target at the same time. The system provides accurate strike firepower and significant consistent firepower for support, as well as deep firing operations, with more than 25 tons of ammunition per gun and around-the-clock operation. The Archer has a continuous fire rate of 75 rounds an hour and a full magazine of 20 rounds used in two and a half minutes. The multiple round simultaneous impact capability is up to six rounds. There are target ranges of anything up to 2,000 meters using direct sighting. The Archer is incredibly quick to deploy and fire, and it only takes 30 seconds to stop and prepare it for firing. Its predecessor, the FH-77, was put into position within around 10 minutes. Out of action time for the Archer in contrast is as short as 30 seconds. This quick turnaround time is crucial to avoid counter-battery fire. This rapid deployment is achieved because a commercial articulated hauler provides the vehicle with rapid deployment and redeployment capability. The hauler also helps move the Archer across all kinds of terrain. The system has been designed for mobility in every aspect. It can reach road speeds of up to 70 km per hour for quick transportation, and it is capable of moving through snow up to a depth of 1 meter. For deployment to the battlefield, it's transportable by rail, and the A400M aircraft can drop it anywhere it needs to be. A remote weapon system, or RWS, which includes a day and night sight with a 7.62 general purpose machine gun, is found on the roof of the cab for self-protection. Its Swedish developers have introduced the Lemur family of gyro-stabilized, fragment-protected, electro-optical sights and remotely controlled weapon systems. This lemur machine gun can be aimed and fired from inside the armor-protected cabin if needed to allow for a lethal combination of attack and defense. The RWS is operated fully remotely to avoid any risk to an operator. It has on-mount sensors and is a stabilized weapon. The sensors can be found underneath the weapon. Extra features of the Archer include all-wheel emergency driving equipment, which makes it possible to drive with all wheels punctured. This means there's greater protection if the vehicle hits a blast pressure mine. It also has two-axle skid protection that allows better transportation in difficult terrain conditions and on winter roads. Then there is additional storage space found in a center chassis and four side boxes. These are used to contain radio and computer equipment, batteries, gun accessories, extra ammunition, and the personnel's heavy baggage. The side boxes are also sized for Euro pallets and can also be movable on the truck's frame. The Volvo-made truck as a whole has been designed with weight-optimized ballistic protection and a mobile camouflage system. The gun system's impressive firepower and super-quick redeployment times allows a battle plan that considerably improves survivability for the system while also promoting a high rate of return fire after orders are received. With modern ammunition, the system can engage with armored targets and precision fire from long distances. The Archer is a very formidable weapon. It was built to make artillery more mobile around the battlefield and has completed this aim incredibly well. Not only did its Swedish engineers improve transportation, but they also drastically improved the howitzer's firepower as well as rate of fire. It's no wonder then that the Swedish government has pledged to donate the artillery system for the Ukrainian army's use. They will prove a useful addition to their arsenal and allow attacks of various ranges and in a variety of difficult terrain. What do you think about the Archer artillery system? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.